This one sort of a Swiss Army knife type of module. It's the Laka Sequential Voltage Processor by Citonix Synth. It has these four inputs that have attenuverter controls using these sliders. The channels are also normaled from left to right, so if you don't plug anything into one of them, it will take whatever is in the channel to its left. Each channel has an offset knob that can shift the voltage up or down. Each of the channels have a mute toggle and its own output. Below those, you get outputs with different combinations of the input channels. The first one has the combination of A plus B, B plus C, C plus D, and finally one that sums them all up. The highlight of this module is the sequential output, which cycles between each of the inputs. It's controlled like a normal sequencer with a clock input that accepts either a gate or a trigger. You can also advance the step using this advance button. You have a reset input that would bring the cycle back to channel A. And you can choose the number of steps from 2 to 4 using this toggle switch. First of all, you can use each input as attenuverters individually. So that alone is already very useful to me. It also works great as a regular mixer, both for audio and CB. What I like to do is to use it to cycle between shapes from my analog oscillator. I think it makes things interesting. It's also great for switching back and forth between two different filters. With just the offset and level controls, you can also use this as a normal four-step sequencer. You can also use it to mix or switch between different CV sources like another sequencer or an LFO. I'm sure there's plenty of other uses for it that I haven't yet explored. Citonix Synth sent it to me as a full kit, complete with everything I need to build one. There was a fair amount of soldering that I had to do. It had a lot of trim pots, but overall it wasn't too difficult to build. You just have to pay attention to the alignment of the parts, especially the slide pots, since it can get a little tricky to fit through the front panel. Calibration was also a little involved. He warned me about this when I asked for the module, but it wasn't too bad. There is a very detailed build and calibration guide available on their website. Unfortunately, the LACA has been discontinued, but I still wanted to give them a shout out for this as I found the module very useful in my generative sets. Who knows if enough people ask them, they might bring it back. I'll add links to their social media page and their website in the description. I'm a huge fan of how well-designed Cetonix modules are. I use their marsupial filter a lot. I made a video about that one last year. That would be all for now. If you like what I do, please consider supporting me through my coffee page. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.